It was the perfect day for the RPAC Golf Tournament at East Point Golf and Racquet Country Club. As players warmed up, many Realtors reflected on the importance of their participation in this prestigious tournament. I golf for RPAC to ensure there's no mulligans for sponsored legislation. I take a mulligan on that one. I golf for RPAC to endorse candidates who stay cool under pressure when the stakes are high. I golf for RPAC, so the only water hazard I have to worry about is on the golf course. After the warm-up round, competition became fierce. Players were hard-hitting and treating the ball like it was bad legislation that threatened our industry. The drink cart volunteers look happy here, but make no mistake, they were even battling out to see who could raise more money for our pack. At the end of the day though, there could only be one winning group, and the dust finally settled at the evening at East Point Golf Reception. While the results were being tallied, attendees generously bid on silent auction items to help raise money for our pack. And when everyone settled down for dinner, the results were announced. For the longest drive, Donna Slavon took it down for the ladies, while David Murray won for the men. The closest to the pin award went to Patrick Hall with his incredible hole-in-one on the fourth hole, and his success didn't stop there. That hole-in-one helped propel his team of Glenn Burns, Fernando Fermani, and Jason Nitz to victory and winners of the Realtor Cup. We'd also like to congratulate Jessica Wittenbrink and Deanna Hall for winning the Blondes vs. Brunettes Beverage Cart Battle. The biggest winner, though, by far and away, was RPAC. Donations from the RPAC Golf Tournament and Evening at East Point totaled over $20,000 for the Realtor Party. We would like to thank our amazing sponsors, Freedom Mortgage, All My Sons Moving and Storing, Kai's Realty, and you, our members, who made this memorable evening beyond successful.